welcome to the lecture number five on the selenium web driver in java in this lecture you will learn what is the desired capabilities and what is the significance of the desired capabilities so we will be starting with the server capabilities which is related to the selenium grid or the selenium server and then we will be looking at the chrome capabilities phantom js capabilities firefox safari capabilities so let us start with this url on this url github selenium hq selenium wiki desired capabilities they have mentioned all the information regarding the capabilities and what is the significance of that so before we jump into that let me explain you what is the desired capabilities the desired capabilities allow you to launch the browser with a different configuration so when you use the like new chrome driver or new firefox driver it actually creates the fresh profile uh, for the browser and then launches it but most of the times uh, what uh, happens is we need to launch the browser with specific configuration like for example uh, in chrome by default the pop-ups are blocked but uh, you may want uh, you may uh, would like to have the chrome with the where the pop-ups are allowed so to launch the browser in such configuration you will have to use these desired capabilities and that is the significance of that so basically uh, what it allows you to do is it allows you to launch the browser with a specific configuration that you like so now how to specify the desired capabilities and what are the different uh, desired capabilities so this is the browser name version platform these are desired capabilities so these are actually used in the selenium server or the selenium grid so we will be looking at the selenium grid in next chapters so for now just remember that in the selenium grid we can run the tests on different browsers or different platforms so at that point of time we need to provide the information to the server like uh, okay i want to run on this particular browser uh, say chrome or firefox so you can pass that capability like browser name is chrome then server will uh, pick up the node which has that capability and then start execution on that similarly you can also specify the version of the browser and then platform like on which system you want to run the tests like windows xp vista mac linux etc so these capabilities are related to the selenium server which are uh, def extensively used in the selenium grid so just remember right now that these are the capabilities that are used in the selenium grid we will be looking at the selenium grid in the next chapters now these are read only capabilities like handles alerts css selectors enabled so by default these are enabled so you don't need to worry about that and there are some read write capabilities like javascript is enabled or not database enabled or not web storage enabled or not so all these capabilities are there and there are some capabilities which are very specific to the chrome driver like browser specific capabilities are there like chrome capabilities firefox capabilities ie specific capabilities and so lots of information is over there in this page so what we are going to do now is that we are going to look at actual practical examples like how we can use those capabilities so let us start with the chrome first so i've got one program already created over here in the launch chrome this is the test class and you can notice that i have used this class chrome options and over there if you want to use the different binary by default when you launch the chrome driver it picks up the default binary located in the program files and it starts the browser but if you want to specify different binary chrome binary you can use the set binary method and then specify that particular binary exe path similarly if you want to use the different uh, browser profile then you can also specify that using this particular syntax so generally the chrome profile is located at this particular location under your user directory app data local google google chrome and user data so this is the default uh, profile that i have specified and if uh, you want to find out your which profile you are using in your chrome what you can do is go to your chrome and then in the address bar type this one chrome colon double slash version and it will display which profile or uh, profile path of your browser so you have to give uh, until this point and it also displays which executable it is running so 
if you want to use different profile you can specify it using this particular parameter user data directory and similarly if you want to disable the pop-ups uh, blocking like uh, by default pop-ups are blocked if, but if you want to disable that you can use this particular argument this add arguments method is used for that and similarly if you want to block that security warning sometimes in the older browsers security warning appears when you try to launch the browser using selenium so if you want to suppress that warning you can use this test dash type argument and if you want to start the browser with the maximized mode you can use this argument start maximized and finally if you want to launch the browser with a specific extension you can use this syntax options dot add extension and here new file and here you have to give the file path like crx file which is the nothing but the chrome extension now if you go to your google chrome and in the settings you will notice that in this particular browser i have got these many extensions but there is no way to download this extension file in the crx format even if you go to the store of the google store you will not be able to find the crx file so to create the crx file for any extension what you have to do is you have to go to this directory under your user directory app data local google chrome user data default extensions and over there you will find all the extensions so if i go here so these are all the extensions uh, you cannot these are the hash code so you will not be able to actually understand which extension uh, that directory belongs to but looking at the manifest.json you will be able to find out and once you are happy with that extension what you have to do is copy that particular directory copy it like this one and paste it at uh, some other location i have uh, put it in the software's directory in here i have put it and then what you have to do is uh, you have to go to your google chrome and then click on developer mode and then click on pack extension and there you have to give the extension directory that is this directory this one and then what happens is after that when you click on pack extension what happens is you have to keep this private key uh, file as blank and then click on pack extension then what happens is that crx file is created as you can see the crx file is created after i clicked on that pack extension and once you have got this file all you can do is you can give that file path in your code like just like how i have given it for here in this method add extension you have to give that file path and then when the browser is launched it, it is actually launched with that particular extension so what i'm gonna do now is that i'm gonna execute this program so i'm gonna comment this one i'm gonna show you how you can use this pop-up blocking thing so right now i have commented that disable pop-up blocking and if I run this particular program, what it is going to do is it will go to this particular URL where there are lots of pop-ups. And since we have disabled that, uh, like we have got the default setting as blocked pop-up, those pop-ups will be blocked. So just have a look at that. So to debug the program, you have to right click and then click on debug the test method. And now what's going to happen is it will start the browser, but the pop-ups will be blocked and you will notice that in the address bar the pop-ups are blocked looks like there is some problem there but anyways uh, you can use this particular parameter to find the dis uh, disable the pop-ups and you can also use this line of code to add the extension as well then uh, let's move on to the firefox in firefox uh, what you have to do is let us say you want to use different firefox profile then you have to use this particular syntax new firefox and i negate profile and here you have to give the profile name now here you have to give the name of the profile not the path of the profile so to find out which profile uh, you have got in your firefox what you have to do is go to this particular directory where the firefox is installed and then uh, what you have to do is open the command prompt by pressing shift key and then right clicking click on open command prompt here and then use this command called as firefox dash p and what happens is it uh, launches one command window here it will display uh, the list of profiles so default is the name of the profile so if you want to create it you can create another profile or you can rename the default profile as well so i have given the default name over there because that's the name of the profile and then 
I have used new Firefox driver and then here I have specified the this variable profile and then what will happen is browser Firefox browser will be launched with that specific profile similarly if you want to use different Firefox binary say portable Firefox then you can download that exe file and then pass that path uh, to here Firefox in Firefox binary class and then in this Firefox driver constructor you have to pass the Firefox binary this variable and then new Firefox profile so what will happen is instead of launching the default Firefox exe it will launch uh, this particular exe so there are two uh, possibilities uh, uh, to launch the browser in different ways like you can use different profile or different exe as well in the Firefox now let us move on to phantom js so in the phantom js you can use this syntax capabilities is equal to desired capabilities and if you want uh, to enable the javascript by default the javascript is disabled in phantom js so if you want to enable that you have to use this method and then if you want to add the capability to take the screenshot like when the test fails if you want to take the screenshot of the browser window you can also use this particular capability like set a text screenshot is true and finally we have got the last capability that is phantom js driver service dot phantom js executable path property so over here you have to give the path of the phantom js executable as you can see i have given that phantom js dot ex path over there and then i can use this phantom js driver and uh, remember that you have to pass this capabilities variable over there or the object over there otherwise this will not work so when uh, you will execute this program what will happen is you will be able to execute the javascript you will be able to take the screenshot in the phantom js as well and let us look at the safari finally so in the safari what you have to do is you have to use the safari options class and there you can use this method set use clean session or there are other methods as well in there like set port etc which you can use and then pass that options to the constructor of the safari driver while trying to create instantiate that uh, instance and rest of the code remains same so that is how you can cust uh, like configure the browsers tri while trying to launch it using selenium and mainly these desired capabilities are used uh, when working with the grid which we will be looking at in the future chapter thank you for watching this video